Before we start this vid, I just want to thank EA for sponsoring it. I've partnered with EA in their brand new game, Need for Speed Heat, which launches worldwide November 8th. I'll be in Miami with these guys, Jonah and Jason, and a couple other friends at the launch of the game. Download the free app, design a car, and who knows, maybe your design will come to life. Don't forget to tag me and use the hashtag NFS Heat. All right, today on the show we got Casey Neistat. He's one of the most respected creators on the YouTube platform. He's a good friend of mine and an inspiration. Recently he said some really nice things about the show and me as a host. Jeff Wittick, Wittick, he has a show where people come in, he's a professional barber and he cuts their hair as he has a conversation with them. Genius, yeah, and brilliant. Sure, sit and see someone get a haircut as they're having a fairly intellectual conversation that's 15 minutes long. Just cut to intellectual. So, I'm excited to have him on and show off some of my intellectual talk show hosting skills. <laughs> Next up, we got Casey Neistat. Thanks for doing the show, man. Happy to be here. Happy to finally make this happen, Jeff. Um, so you're ready to cut that hair, huh? If I need you to make me beautiful, I, I haven't cut it in a while. It's just like this big pile of pubic hair on top of my head. Hey, I'm Casey. Hi, I'm Casey too. <laughs> He's waiting to get a haircut next. You ever think all this YouTube stuff is gonna die out and cable TV is gonna make a comeback? No, Jeff, I don't. I mean, if I'm buying futures on something, it's not MTV. I, I think it's I think it's past its prime. Jeff, do you watch my uh, YouTube channel? Yeah, my favorite was the Nike video that you did when you took all the money and you just went on vacation for a year. That was 2012. It was actually on vacation for 10 days. But oh, close. you did that in 10 days. 10 days. All right. So the premise of the video is Nike gave me all this money to make a commercial, but instead I spent it like running around. I spent it on airplane tickets, and we burned through all the money in 10 days. Yeah. Am I going to get a link? Are you going to link to that? Um, yeah, we'll put it up. Great. Do you got a family now? I do. Are you ever going to stop around on YouTube and get a real job? I mean, when you say real job, Jeff, what are you thinking? I don't know, maybe like a fireman? Fireman? No, no, I'm never going to get a real job. I couldn't have a real job. When you got your first check from YouTube, were you just like, F this shit. I'm just going to and get a fucking Lamborghini, Tesla, and do whatever I want. Fairly intellectual conversation. You know, real talk, I didn't I didn't have my channel monetized for like the first hundred million views. Totally serious. You know that? I just, I don't know what it was. I never monetized the channel. So yeah, when I flipped it on, I was doing a lot of views and I was like, holy shit. Can't believe I was, I was like not taking that income. But no, I didn't buy a Lamborghini. I got like three kids, man. I can't buy a Lamborghini. Is this something you this were taught? And hard to interview, man. Me? Yeah. I was I just hoping so. you would kind of just run with it a little bit. You know, why don't, why don't we, Jason, why don't you pop in, show him how it's done. Yeah. Trying my best. He's not giving me nothing good, you know? Yeah. Um, well, I, I smoked a little weed this morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is a better invention? The cell phone or an airplane? You know, I think the cell phone's a better invention than the airplane. Probably. Will a fifth grader write these questions for you? I actually worked very hard on them. I've been working on them all week. I have a question. One sec. What'd you have for breakfast today? Today I had a, you know, I had a, I had a green smoothie. Keeping it clean, healthy eating out here. Jonah, what'd you have for breakfast today? Guess what he had for breakfast. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers. Do most of your guests come here for a real haircut when they're on the show? They usually come on first just to do the show and then they keep coming back. Does being on the show entitle someone to like a lifetime of haircuts? Actually, that would be a good gift. You get a lifetime supply of haircuts. Every show appearance comes with a lifetime supply of haircuts. Well, I don't know about everybody because sometimes there's guests that, you know, we don't really hit it off. Who is your worst guest? Worst guest? Probably Joey Salads. That's right, Joey. I f***ing said it. F*** you. What do you foresee as the future of media on YouTube? I think that... If you were the president of YouTube and you could change one thing about the platform, what's the first thing you would do? I'd fix David Dobrik's monetization problem. Uh, I haven't seen David look this miserable in a long time. He's just judging me over just there. He's judging. He's I'm like, this f***ing oh. sucks. I don't understand what, what, what you go through with these episodes. Yeah, why are you so don't stressed Don't stress at all. They're I'm not stressed. So stressed. Casey, can you carve the pumpkin for Halloween? Come on. Why are you guys doing this to him? He's trying to cut my hair. 
Carve that pumpkin. 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 We can put that up on eBay. Nice. Sick, Casey. All right, sit back. Well, that feels nice, Jeff. It's nice and luxurious, huh? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I'm not really that good at this part. Oh, uh, clearly. That towel smells like semen. Nate, where'd you get this towel from? I hope I'm not putting a dog pee towel on Casey Neistat's face. You ever, uh, you ever cut anybody doing this? Ah, uh, yeah, it just happens all the time. It's just a part of life. It's like, uh... Inevitability? Yeah, it's inevitable. Where do you see YouTube in five years? Where do I see YouTube in five years? Mm -hmm. It's so hard to say. I mean, it's gonna keep getting bigger. It's gonna keep growing. I'm way more curious about like the YouTube community. What happens to the, what does it mean to be a YouTuber five years from now? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know the answer, but it's very different now than it was five years ago. So when you try to imagine looking to the future. Would you rather be called a YouTuber or a Netflixer? Is anyone called a Netflixer? Not yet. I mean, YouTuber sounds better. I got an idea. What if they just let people upload to Netflix and they called it like you Netflix or something like that? I think it's a great idea. Yeah? Yeah, I'd invest in that idea. <laughs> Seriously? No. Yeah, you're right. It's terrible. All right, well, your hair is pretty much done. You wanna check it out? It's a little bit of pumpkin on, there's pumpkin all over. What do you think? Yeah, it looks, can I take the thing out now? Yeah, of course. Looks, looks great. Good job. Good job, Jeff. This is the guy who cuts <laughs> my hair. Yeah, it's the best haircut I've had in a really long time. Jeff, I think you gotta cut this shorter, man. Okay, we can't cut that shorter. I'm serious, look, it's too much. Yeah, yeah, look, no it, problem. Look, it looks Let's a little it. weird now, doesn't it. it? Yeah. Casey, what would you say if Jeff died right now at his funeral? Well, I'd be concerned about who's gonna finish the haircut, but once we got past that, I think there's a lot of nice things to, to be said at Jeff's funeral. I think I could deliver a fantastic eulogy. You wanna give it a shot? No. You got two options. You could do 15 second eulogy or you could do 15 second commercial for Jeff's Barbershop. Be sure to check out Jeff's Barbershop every week right here on Jeff's Barbershop YouTube channel. I thought that was good. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Well, who are your influences? Influences in life, big like Malcolm X, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Guy went to jail, no offense Jeff, but the guy went to jail. Yeah. A criminal and came out an intellectual and then changed the world. Yeah. Powerful. Francis Ford Coppola. He has a quote. I mean, I'm a big fan of Coppola. I think he's one of the greatest filmmakers that ever lived. Godfather 1, Godfather 2, mm -hmm. Apocalypse Now. Mm -hmm. But he has a quote that says, I'd rather try something ambitious and fail than try something mediocre and succeed, or something like that. Hey guys, knock it off. I got the biggest guest of my entire career in here right now. Yeah, this is great. There it is. You did it. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. It's great. Thank you, Jack. All right, Casey. That's it. It was good to have you here. Great to be here. Thanks for the cut. I feel good. Look good. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do next now. Yeah, I came to burn a man on you 
without a war They don't understand why I am the original I came through drop in straight from you at home They said, oh hell no, oh dead, dead, he's going to burn up